what we're going to be th doing today is thinking about human rights issues in Afghanistan, okay, particularly women's human rights. This Kites for Women's Rights project was inspired by a triple literacy inset that the English faculty had along with uh, modern foreign languages and Welsh. And basically it was thought up to encourage pupils to, to view literacy as a cross-curricular entity rather than just limited to their English lessons. So it was based on an Amnesty International campaign and I think it was important for the girls to have a subject matter which gave them some kind of moral or ethical lessons and, and something they could really get to discussing, which they, they do. And also, with the triple literacy aspect of it and using different languages, it's important for them to see that no matter what language we speak in the world, we all deserve basic human rights. I think it works really well because it encourages pupils to view the links between different languages and gives them quite challenging vocabulary in both English and their other languages. And I think for the languages departments, it was interesting to get the girls talking about something that perhaps wouldn't come up in ordinary MFL and Welsh lessons, whereas in English we're often discussing these types of issues. Each pair, or three, will be given a kite template, OK? And using some key vocabulary, which I'm going to put up onto the board, and I'm going to give you on sheets, I would like you to express your opinions about women's rights in Afghanistan on your kite, all right? I want you to make sure it's eye-catching, colourful and clear. But why are we doing this? Oh, because kite flying... It's a hobby in Afghanistan, right? they, they love to fly kites and women are allowed to make the kites but very often they're not allowed to actually fly them. So our kite is a, a show of solidarity and support for the women of Afghanistan, okay? Now, during your discussions and writing on your kite, you may wish to use some key words in English, super. I would like you to challenge yourselves please and try to use some key words in French, in Welsh, or in Spanish, or all three, okay? So I would like to hear some other languages in this classroom. I would certainly like to see them written on your kites. You can use any images you like, the inky finger, a dub of peace, anything, okay? To show your support for women and girls in Afghanistan. The finished product then were kites using the target vocabulary from all the languages that they learn at Brynhavrim.